Hey you guys, it's Bright. Today I'm here to make a video addressing the fans of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. I want to try to have a really honest conversation and maybe get some different perspectives that maybe I haven't seen or haven't heard yet. So either way, um, whether you're a fan or you can't stand her, all are welcome. But if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so as usual, I was done filming. I was going to, you know, shut it all down. And I was like, let me look over here on TikTok, see what's going on. And I'm looking at her recent uploads. I already covered the ultrasound thing in a previous video, but that has almost 2 million views. Then she has this other video where I guess she's trying to educate moms, which could never but that has um, almost 520,000 views. Then she shows this bell pepper on her stomach and says week 18, blah, blah, blah. So that has almost a million views. Looking at her views, my, my question to anybody who is actively watching because they are interested, not because you're watching because you don't like her, but if you were watching and liking and commenting because you like her and support her, what is the appeal? Can somebody please tell me what the appeal of supporting somebody like Gypsy Rose is? Does it stem from pity? Does it stem from thinking that she should have this platform because of some things that she might or might not have gone through before she unalived her mother do people like do they like ken is that why you're supporting are you supporting gypsy just because you're like ken and you think he's a good guy what is the appeal that is my question nina the beauty influencer did a video um saying how in her opinion gypsy rose was influencing the younger generation I'll drop that right here in the middle. A lot of people have been saying that Gypsy Rose has not influenced the younger generation, but that's actually not true. And I'm actually seeing something that she has. I want you guys to check this out. But while you're checking this out, I want you to pay attention to the details. There are a lot of details that are very similar. And I feel like you guys need to pay attention to that. So let's roll the clip. Joining us live from East Point Police Department with more on what exactly happened, Ingrid. Yeah, you know, it's really disturbing. A mother takes away her daughter's cell phone and then her child comes up with a plan to kill her mother. Back in July, East Point police were called to the 24,000 block of Roxana. They're going to investigate a home invasion and possibly in a, an attempted murder. But as the investigation unraveled, something sinister was revealed about a 14-year-old girl living on the street. The minor daughter had uh, met a, another minor um, on a social media app. But the 14-year-old's time on social media was put in jeopardy. Her mother, who had no knowledge of the guy her child met on the app, decided to take away her daughter's phone as a form of punishment. Because she was having a lot of issues at home and not following the rules. So the teen and her new 17-year-old boyfriend came up with a solution. They decided together that they were going to kill mom. In the early morning hours of July 14th, the 14-year-old allegedly leaves the door to her home open so her boyfriend can enter. He went into the mom's bedroom and began to attempt to suffocate her with a body pillow that was on the bed. The mom screamed. And then he started choking her. But the woman's mother and grandmother to the 14-year-old intervened and told the 17-year-old to leave, which he did, but he left something behind. His shoes were left behind, and we believe that maybe he took those off to be quieter. A knife from the victim's house was also found in the street when the suspect fled. The mom was transported to the hospital, but will survive her injuries. And after nearly two months of investigating, 
police took the 14 and 17 year olds into custody. The mother of the 14 year old told police her daughter is a problem child and has a record. Both have been charged as adults by the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office. The biggest evidence came from the 14 year old. From social media, from her social media account. The 17 year old facing a number of charges, including conspiracy to commit murder and the first degree. The 14 year old also facing charges, including solicitation of murder. The male received a $2.5 million bond, so I can't imagine that he's going anywhere, you know, anytime soon. And the female was given a $1 million bond. So they're both being held. The names of the teens are not being released because of their ages. The investigation has shocked the police department. I don't know that we've ever seen anything on this level from this age group. And as this investigation continues, police want to make this clear. Everything you do on social media leaves a footprint. Nothing is secret. I mean, everything is able to be recovered and found when you're using social media. And although the mother survived, her blood vessels were greatly damaged because of that strangulation. Needless to say, these teens are facing a number of future court dates. Back to you. You cannot tell me that this does not show what I've been saying. There's too many similarities, and it's not coincidentally. And the fact that Gypsy has gotten away with it, became a millionaire, has gotten fame from it, she gets free stuff. You don't think other people envy that and other people feel like, well, hmm, maybe I should do that to my mom. Because all I have to do is tell a story. Because that's exactly what Gypsy Rose has done. I don't know. You guys drop down below how you feel. I would love to hear your thoughts. I don't know if I'm fully on the side of she's influencing people i definitely think that the story that she shared is very intriguing and i do see her point but influencing put aside and hate watching put aside where are these people coming from that are actually giving gypsy rose respect are these people that do not know anything about her crime do they think that she deserves forgiveness? Do they think that she is producing content that should be supported? Because based in my uh, experience, having consumed a lot of what she's put out since her prison release, I don't see any content that would make me say, you know what, this is the one. This is the video that I can actually be on her side and support her on this journey. There has not been a single piece of content that even made me consider, I'm going to go ahead and support her and see where this goes. And listen, I realize I am one of just millions and millions and millions of people. And that's why I wanted to put this video out. I want to hear from the genuine supporters of Gypsy Rose. What is it that y'all are supporting? Why is it that we have this group of people in the middle that are saying, you know what, Slay Queen, we're so happy for you. You look beautiful. Those people, where's your head at? I want to know. And I will leave this comment section open. Um, you know, if, if you can't stand me, sound off. If you can't stand Gypsy, sound off. If you think uh, Ken is the most annoying person in the world, sound off. I would like to hear from her fans. And maybe I'll do a part two reacting to comments because I am genuinely interested in why is it that she is being so well respected. I think it's sick and twisted but I'm willing to hear out the other side. So I'll be looking at the comments, but for today, if you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.